I'm here on Bordersley Green, an area in Birmingham, England. It looks completely peaceful here, like any many other neighborhoods, but just 24 hours ago, at that roundabout there were scenes of violence as hundreds of mass militants dressed in black mobilized for a so-called Muslim patrol. And it was also right here where I'm standing, the Sky News reporter during a breaking news hit was accosted by people who ran up, some of them armed with melee weapons, giving a political statement on camera. This area of Birmingham, where I'm at, is about 60% Muslim, and it's been the latest outburst of political violence, and now it's been about a week of violence in different towns and cities across England, uh, involving immigrant groups, involving English populations and communities, sometimes battling it out on the streets. In, in chaotic scenes, there's been hundreds of arrests. The violent protests and riots have led to an accusation from some, particularly those who are protesting against mass migration, accusing um, the Prime Minister Keir Starmer of two-tier policing. They've actually started using a hashtag called two-tier Keir to voice their particular grievance. Leading up to the riots that happened just in the last week before that, there have been other instances of migrant and immigrant and Muslim communities that have rioted in other parts of England that critics say were not met with dog units or riot squads. In fact, they said that in places like in Rochdale near Manchester where a police station was attacked by Muslim extremists, there was no police presence at all in those acts of violence. I'm here outside the Clumsy Swan. This pub a day ago was where dozens and dozens of mass members of the so-called Muslim patrol mobilized and carried out an attack. If you were just here right now, you wouldn't think that anything like that happened less than 24 hours ago. You just see people enjoying drinks outside here. And there's actually not a lot of evidence of the violence that occurred. Now, there was a window that was smashed up there and now you can see it's, it's been boarded up. As soon as I walked up here and I had my phone out, just taking some pictures from the outside, immediately people were very concerned. A man came up and asked, why are you recording? He thought that perhaps that I was scoping out the scene uh, to pass intel for people to carry out another attack. So communities are quite on edge here, even though things as of right now look very calm and peaceful. Um, I do want to state that we are about nearly 40 minutes on foot from the Bordersley Green area where there was the initial gathering. So the people walked for quite a distance yesterday before they carried out a random attack. Um, I talked to some of the people here and they are terrified to go on camera. They're willing to speak on background but not on record. Um, they described sort of the, the scenes of, of terror yesterday that was enacted on to, to their community and they repeatedly want to stress that they are not speaking critically or ill of Islam as a whole or of the Muslim community as a whole, but rather that it was a, a, a fringe element of mass militants who came out and terrorized uh, the patrons of this pub.